We all want happy, healthy families and cooking good food for them is huge. Here are some essential tips for food safety. When you're working around food, you need to pull your hair back. Hair can hold a lot of bacteria and we don't want that getting in our food. Even if you've got short hair, you should wear a hat. For this, we're gonna make a simple sanitizing solution consisting of a third of a cup of household bleach and two quarts of water. When cleaning counters, use an all-purpose cleaner to remove grease and grime before you sanitize. You've gotta remove all the grease and grime or else it won't work as well. Sanitize door handles and let air dry. Sanitize fridge handles and let air dry. Before you clean anything with your sponge, rinse it out first to get all the solids out and then microwave it for 60 seconds to kill all the germs. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds or just as long as it takes you to sing happy birthday twice. Don't forget the backs of your hands, between your fingers, and your wrists. Before we wash any food, we need to sanitize the sink. First, use an all-purpose cleaner. Spray it all around the sink. Make sure you get the edges of the sink as well as the handles. And then sanitize. Wipe all the edges as well as the handles. Then let it air dry. And don't forget to pour some bleach down the drain as well. If you're washing veggies and whole things, first wet your vegetables. And then spray them down with fruit and vegetable wash or white vinegar. Then take a scrub brush and scrub, scrub, scrub. Now your veggie brush should only be used for vegetables. You want to remove any possible wax, dirt, and grime that could have accumulated on them. You never want to let the food actually touch the sink. Always use colanders. If you're washing leafy greens, you want to pour your vegetable wash solution or white vinegar into a bowl. Drop those greens into the veg wash and wash, wash, wash. Then work them on over the rinse bowl and rinse, rinse, rinse. Then lay them out to dry. If you're gonna cut anything on a cutting board, you need to sanitize the cutting board. The proper way to sanitize a cutting board, place it into hot soapy water and scrub both sides. Make yourself a fresh bucket of sanitizer. Sanitize with the sanitizing solution on all sides. And then let it air dry. You want to keep your cold foods cold. And then make sure to always cook your food at the proper temperature. Keep those hot foods hot. Don't forget you always want to wash your hands again after you've handled food. Last step. Family time.